everybody what's going on my bad for the late video um today hasn't been too too good of a day I felt kind of like crap today laying around i really have only been outside like one time i'm whispering because obviously it is late people are sleeping but uh this is going to be the first video to my series now I'll try to be brief and explain it real fast uh, i've been thinking of this new thing i wanted to do has not really been done on YouTube. There's certain channels that simulate like drama alert stuff about drama and talk about other YouTubers, that kind of thing. Well, my series is going to be called YouTuber Analysis. It's what it's going to be called. And I'm going to go down a list. I'm going to pick specific YouTubers. I'm going to keep. I'm going to do these videos each week. Maybe multiple videos a week. It all depends on the audience. I don't know how well they're going to do yet. How many views they're going to pull in. Subscribers. Who enjoys them. Or what else, or whatever. So I'm kind of like going with the flow, seeing how it does. Now, um, my bad. Okay, first, I want to start off with obviously a big YouTuber. He's well known. Everybody knows him. He's all over drama and talk, all, getting discussed and everything lately. Start off with him for my first video because I think it would be the smart thing to do. Use his name in the title because he claims, you know, you get views if you use his name in the title. And obviously, yes, that is... Jake Paul. Now, um, if you have any tips to make the series better, please let me know. I will be active on Twitter. You can always tweet me, leave comments. I read my comments and everything. I reply back. Um, let me know if I should get a green screen because I actually want to do like a green screen thing, be up against the wall, and put like the, the, the uh, you know the YouTubers I'm doing on the actual green screen and everything. I'm still working on uh, being able to edit a lot better and everything because I want to make this series and uh, really good and add like video clips and everything I need to do I can still do that now I can add video clips which I think I'm going to when I edit this okay now basically what the series is going to be even though I like the YouTuber or if I don't like him I will do a video on them and I will be it will be my unbiased opinion I will state facts on why I think he's like uh good things they do, bad things they do, and then we'll come to a conclusion of what I think about the YouTuber, and I want this to be like a, a discussion topic and everything, so like you can leave your comments, what you think about the YouTuber I'm talking about, and everything else, and also leave uh, ideas on future YouTubers you would like to see me do, and have some fun doing this. Okay, Jake Paul, first of all. Um, very big YouTuber, over 11 million subscribers, gets millions of views. He's also an actor, Disney star, and all that, which that helps him out. He's big for the kids. He makes his videos mainly for the kids. If you have ADHD, because he's always jumping around, always like pretending like boxing and everything, when he's doing his uh, intro, and he's always doing wild, crazy stunts. He's very loud to pretend to kids. So, like, He's not, uh, he's not trying to be, a, it's like he's trying to be more of a role model to kids instead of people that actually really need somebody to motivate them and to inspire them. Like, uh, okay, first off, things I do like, it. we'll start, this is my first video in the series, so, you know, it'll get better over time after I figure out, you know, how I want to go about everything. First off, things I do like about him. Um, I, I do admire his hustle, his grind. He's a very hard worker. Um, he, he is a businessman. He works every day. That's why he says, every day, bro. Um, he, he's get, he gets acting jobs. He's constantly busy. He's constantly, he, and he uploads every day. He constantly puts out a video as well, even if he's recording. Now, I know this is kind of recent. One thing I do not like, that I know a few things he he's done recently. I know one, since he pertains to the kids, um, when he had that uh, competition for who who uh, for someone one of his fans or viewers or whatever to make a diss track on him, he was to fly the fan out to L, uh, to wherever he is, L.A., to record a song and hang out and all that. I think that was messed up because he picked a kid. He picked the first kid, a kid that actually put out a diss track um, the first day since Jake Paul announced it. 
Now, I think it's messed up, even though, you know, the diss track me as a kid, you know, you, obviously it's not going to be good. No flow and everything, because, I mean, he's a little kid. I understand that and everything. But there's a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers out there that actually did a very good job on the music video diss track to Jake Paul. And I actually thought they were really good. Like, one was Mikey Mams. You guys, check out Mikey Mams. His diss track on Jake Paul was amazing. It was very good. It was well recorded. It was well done, well filmed, everything. Very good diss track. Jake Paul did show his, a clip of his diss track in his video when he picked the winner, but he went with a, a kid and everything. And, not, and they recorded the song, but Jake Paul decided not to use it and promised they would make another song in LA, which never happened. So that kid was let down, probably, because he never got to do a song with Jake Paul that actually got to come out yet. It has not happened. Um, also with the beef with, he, he always wants the drama. He is in the drama all the time. Once the drama dies down, he has to find another way to get into the drama, obviously. Now, um, he did with Rice Gum. Now, I like Rice Gum as a YouTuber. I do watch him. We will cover him on this channel as well. We'll do YouTuber analysis on him. There are good things, there are obviously bad things I don't like about him. We'll get into that and also all the clout gang and all that. But uh, he's going after Raiska for being a horrible person and um, making all these accusations about that Rice Gum's making fun of suicide and all that. Which I think is total bullshit because that's Rice Gum's comedy, Rice Gum's humor. Everybody knows he's joking. Rice Gum did not say anything about suicide. He just showed a picture of a noose in a chair and all that. Now, Jake Paul's being 100% hypocrite in that video where he was laying in the rice gum. Because everything Jake Paul was saying to rice gum, Jake Paul was also doing always in the drama, being a total horrible person. You know, making all of his neighbors hate him. You know, man, there, there's a long list. Like, we can go on here all day probably of everything Jake Paul's done. I keep up to date with those videos because I watch a lot of YouTubers, you know, learn as much as I can about them. And man, he was going in on, like, those, if it wasn't, you know, if he wasn't so hypocritical, I will give him respect on that or whatever. Because those kind of videos I like where he's actually serious, he's not messing around and actually stating points and everything. Because don't get me wrong, he did make some good valid points. But he was being a hypocrite because he does all that same stuff. And he's a... He might be a good guy. If up in person, you know, hanging out with him, he might be a good guy. But what I, from what I've seen, he's bad to women. Um, he messes around with a lot of women. That's why his relationships don't work out, obviously. He even lied, had a fake marriage and everything. And I really want to know how, uh, what all these Jake Paulers think, look, why do they look up to him in the way that they do. Obviously, because they're kids, they own it right from wrong. They think this is cool. They hear Jake Paul say savage, and they want to be savages. But if you know, savage means wild animal. Which, when he went to um, Houston, Texas, and all of his fans, he wanted all his fans to donate, you know, to help victims and everything. They were stampeding, hurting each other, fighting. And he straight up told them they were all acting like a bunch of animals. But he calls them savages and everything. So really... That's being a hypocrite also, I think. Um, there's a lot to state about him. He's he's always on the grind. He's always hustling. Um, there's a lot I can say about his brother as well that I, don't, that I don't like. I'm surprised they made it this far for how childish and immature they act. I mean, being on the internet in front of all kinds of people, they should actually try to be motivating people. And he wants people to know that he's doing good things. That's the thing. There's other YouTubers that I know that don't have to make a video of them donating to charity or doing all this stuff to help people. He does. He has to make a video about it. Just like when he was going at Rice Gum, he had to make a video that all the money from the video that they made was going to go to suicide prevention. He had to do it. Um, there's all kinds of stuff to say. There's a There would be a big discussion because Jake Paul is always getting talked about, even on Drama Alert. I love Keem Star. I love what he does. I'm always up to date with Drama Alert. So shout outs to Keem. 
he's doing it big. He's growing fast too, and obviously because of all the Jake Paul stories. But I mean, he was always in the news, and apparently Jake Paul might possibly have herpes. I guess because somebody bro a streamer broke into his house and found herpes medicine, stole all kinds of shit, which is illegal. But uh, that's a possibility. So there are a lot more bad things than good about Jake Paul. There's a lot more. I mean, I, all of us, you know, understand expects his hustle and grind because he does work hard. His raps suck. I mean, his rap his raps does suck. I think the only good, the only one I was decent was uh, only the beat and like. You saw how much time you must put in the music video, having all kinds of fans and the big house and everything. And it was the Jake Pollard music video. But the lyrics suck because he's always bragging. He's always flexing. Like he has all this, you know, he's better than everybody else. That's what he pertains to. Now, remember, the guys, this video is not me hating on him. This is a series I'm going to try to do where we're going over, you know, the good and bad qualities of each YouTuber, you know, having the conversation. And what you guys enjoy about that YouTuber. Maybe if I talk about YouTuber you don't know. Maybe you will like. Go check him out. Subscribe. Or whatever. Because there's a lot that I watch. Even even smaller channels. Which I'm talking about. Around maybe half a million subscribers. And all that. That we'll get into eventually. But uh. Yeah. He. He's done some terrible things. He has gotten better. I will give him that. From all that drama. He has not been in the drama as much. But with the fake accusations to Banks for the uh, fake assault charges, he's never apologized for that. He told Banks he was going to make a video doing a public apology. Never happened. Banks just let it go, whatever. And then uh, Jake Paul came back and started attacking Clout Gang and Rice Gum again. So he's not stopping. He's constantly being a hypocrite and starting drama, starting trouble. Where's this video at? I don't know. Kind of rambling. Uh, because I do the intro and everything. Let's see. I'm try I, I, I want to start writing down each point I want to make. So I know exactly what I'm going to talk about. This is just the first video to the series. So I'm kind of going off the top of my head with everything. Um, next video might be a local poll. Then we'll just go down a list. You guys give your suggestions to YouTubers you want me to do. Um, that's all I'm going to state on Jake Paul for right now. Because there's a lot to talk about. If you guys like to see another part, especially if new stuff comes up, I'll be glad to do that. But final verdict, I do watch Jake Paul. I'm not a fan of him because he is to the younger audience. And he makes a lot of enemies of YouTubers I do like and do appreciate. Um, I don't think he's a good role model. I do think he is entertaining in some videos I like to watch. But he is not somebody I would recommend for anybody over the age of 10. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is what I think on, on Jake Paul. Let me know in the comments section all everything you guys think about Jake Paul. And also let me know any other YouTubers you would like to see me do an analysis on. And, and uh, give me ideas. Would you like to see a green screen? And you know, cool shit on that. I'll be down to do that. Give it a shot because I should be able to edit on a green screen green screen with my software and everything um probably want to get ready to be playing some more nba 2k18 so yeah make sure you drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it if you like things i had to say um leave me a comment all that good shit subscribe if you're new here follow me on twitter and all that good shit um yeah new videos come to the channel it's gonna be uh directed in a whole different way uh, I'm kind of trying out the series, just seeing how it does. It's always good to try new things. And I'm going to try to motivate as much as I can now because I'm trying to go on to bigger and better things. Uh, have some things coming up. That would be really cool. So, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.